G'day and welcome to the next episode of Tech Adept Crafts. All right, what have we got? We have craters. Looking at the uh, new 40K, so it's time to do some battlefield damage. Craters are a great way to give you difficult terrain and to show the effects of your battle. These ones are very simple. They are recycling or upcycling old CDs. When we're pretty much going to a digital age, for a music teacher with lots of CDs, yeah, they, be, they have become a bit redundant. So let's use them. But I want to give a shout out to two people who commented on Charlotte uh, in the last video. Charlotte, of course, being the little recurring spider that has been in quite a few videos so far. I'd like to shout out to David Bennett and to Alana, who is actually the person who uses Charlotte as her pet familiar in our game. Just a reminder from the video last week, NADPOD is starting campaign two uh, this weekend. I think the first episode, episode zero, will actually come out US time Saturday. Scratch that, it came out today. Sunday morning. Um, get onto uh, some sort of podcast service or onto Patreon and look up NADPOD. That's N-A-D-D-P-O-D. Don't sing yet. Um, and, and check out that campaign to episode zero. On the terrain that we've got here, you, you'll see it's a lot. There, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff that we've been doing. A lot of you know I run a games club, the Cherry Book Tech Adepts. Um, we've been going now for 20 years. That club puts on a major tournament, which we need bucket loads of terrain. And I literally mean bucket loads. Like we bring out a bucket full of hills, a bucket full of craters, a bucket full of buildings. It's an endless supply of terrain that we need to keep stocking up. So whenever I do a crater, I will do multiple craters. These ones are not in the video, but you can see here, I've actually done a double crater and this one, is showing a triple crater, just you know, cluster bombs. So while I was doing this video, I also did a few more of the hills that I did back in episode one, and yeah, really still loving how they've come out. The other thing that we've got here is the crystals that I did back quite a few episodes ago. I have finally gotten around to finishing off the bases by doing that putty filler. Uh, so they have finally got stuck down. They were just stuck down with hot glue. I've been using a lot of hot glue lately, not using a lot of the PVA because I just find it sets a lot faster and I can get on with the next project. In the last video, somebody commented about uh, how fine detail the miniatures were coming out on my Ender 3. I've still got a ways to go on exactly how much detail I can get on those, but if you are interested, I can post a link or put down some of the settings that I'm using on my Ender 3 if that would be of interest to anyone. Just let me know, put a comment down the bottom and I'll, I'll see what I can do about replying to that one. Hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you at the end. Don't forget, if you do like it, hit like, hit subscribe, and leave a, a comment down below. Cheers. First thing you're gonna do is to take some of that foam board and cut strips, and then cut those strips into small triangles. Next job, take your hot glue gun and stick those triangles down with the long edge down, and then the second longest edge towards the outside of the rim. So your short edge is pointing inwards. Using blue painter's tape, cover up the hole in the center. This could have been done better with maybe a disc of paper in the middle just to cover it better. Next is using the multi-purpose filler. In my first video, I have shown already how to mix this, and so we'll go through this very quickly. Paste that mixture into the CD, trying to get it all in between the cracks of the foam board triangles and around that outside to create a nice crater lip. 
you don't want it too thick in the center because that's where you want the models to sit. Too much, they won't sit properly. I found a better technique which was actually cupping my fingers like a triangle and rubbing that around. When it's dry, rub off any excess sand or stuff that's stuck to the bottom. That will make it a lot easier now than when you're trying to paint it. First painting layer, Mod Podge. This fantastic product will make it a little bit less like sandpaper. Using my mix of grey, I'm painting the entire crater. Tormans Endure Matte Interior Walls Paint Star Anise is the first of the contrast colours. We'll follow that up with Tormans Endure Matte Interior Walls Season Acorn and the Tormans Endure Timber Bean. Once dry, dry brushing with a lighter grey all over this crater. Black Magic Craft mix of black wash all over after that dry brush. Once that's dry, you're going to give one last dry brush of that light grey back over the top. There is the finished product. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to make your own crater scatter terrain. You can make a huge batch of these. You can make the, um, the sides of it bigger, but this actually works nicely with fitting, uh, say a dreadnought base inside that crater. It'll still fit. You can just count it as that's difficult terrain. Um, you can have it as soft cover or good. You want to make it higher? Make it hard cover. Don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you have a terrain project that you would like me to tackle, let me know. Working on a couple of uh, large projects at the moment which are going to take up a bit of time. So hopefully, now that we're going back to school next week, um, I'll still be able to keep the videos regular, but we'll see how we go. Till next time. Keep hobbying.